Daily Minutes, nummer 1446, met een uitzending voor vandaag, 21 oktober 2018. Dit is het bulletin van zondag. This bulletin will be in English. Deze uitzending is in het Engels. De uitzending bestaat vandaag in zijn geheel uit het RSTB bulletin. De versie van TX Factor was vanavond om 6 uur nog niet beschikbaar. Dus we doen het met de versie van de RSTB zelf. CQ, 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 calling all radio amateurs and shortwave listeners. This is GB2RS, the news broadcasting service of the Radio Society of Great Britain. It's read to you as usual by G4NJH in Nottingham. The script of this broadcast is available on the RSGB's own website and at gb2rs.podbean.com. Good morning, it's Sunday the 21st of October 2018. This is GB2RS News. Here are the headlines. Call for IARU Region 1 input. RSGB Convention Construction Competition winners. First of six new IOTA groups announced. The RSGB has opened a call for inputs as part of its preparation and consultation process for the 2019 IARU Region 1 interim meeting that will be held next April. Topics on HF, VHF microwave and EMC matters will be considered. While suggestions are welcomed at this stage, full draft papers are required by December, ahead of the mid-January submission deadline. The RSGB IARU Forum has threads available for this for both this 2019 event and broader WRC19 matters at http forum.thersgb.org forward slash further uh, for, uh, slash full stop that is further background is also available under consultations in the publications and archives tab on the main RSGB website congratulations to all the category winners in the RSGB convention construction competition 2018 sponsored by Martin Lynch and Sons Anthony Watts at M0 IFA won the innovation section for a series of tools to help people learn to code and understand radio Andrew Var or Ver, G4XZL was awarded technical merit for his approach to measuring noise. The Cam Hams P3 PYE team was awarded the judges' merit for building their Flossy 2 communications vehicle and for issuing it to serve the community. Sorry, for using it to serve the community. The construction section and overall winner of the Pat Hawker G3VA trophy was Dean Price, G0UIL, from the RAIBC and his SDR transceiver. The entries were judged by Bo, OZ2M, Sam, G4DDK and Stuart, G3YSX. Islands on the Air has announced its first of new of six new IOTA groups. The new groups cover a Swedish-Finnish joint sovereignty island and groups in North America, Asia and Oceania. All new groups are provisional numbers. This means they will need to be confirmed by a 1,000-plus QSO operation that takes place after the 14th of October, as well as meeting the other normal validation requirements. Only after confirmation of the number will credit for past operations be considered. The provisional new clubs are Kataja Island, EU192P, Moraine Atoll in the Tuamotu Islands, OC297P, Puerto Rico Coastal Islands, NA249P, Yakutat County Group, NI250P, Bering Sea Coast East Group, AS205P, and Kuril Skie Island North, AS204P, see www.iota-world. Dot org for more information. We were saddened to hear that John Crabb, G3WFM, became silent key in the early hours of Thursday the 18th. He volunteered for many years as curator of the RSGB Museum and Library at Potter's Bar and was also the RSGB Shack Manager. A long tribute can be found a longer tribute can be found on the RSGB website. The RSGB Contest Committee's VHF Contesting Consultation closes at midnight on Sunday the 29th of October. Go to www.surveymonkey.co.uk slash r slash VHF CC figures 2018 to help set the rules for 2019. Last weekend's RSGB Convention 2018 was a great success with over 600 visitors. Put the dates in your next year's diary. The convention will run from the 11th to the 13th of October 
Next year we video many of the lectures and then release them throughout the year, first to members via our website, then publicly on YouTube, after a while to help advertise the convention and to generate wider interest in amateur radio. We've started with two important videos today straight to YouTube. In the video of Tim Duffy, K3LR, giving his keynote speech, the K3LR Superstation, he talks about his famous contestation, but also, as he puts it, focus on keeping ham radio fun in and alive. In the second video, the president of IARU Re- Region 1, Don Beatty, G3BJ, asks, so what has the IARU ever done for us? In his talk, he describes what they're doing, how the challenges of representing amateur radio globally are changing and what the world would like be like without IARU. You'll find all of our videos on the website. Follow the links to RSGB convention lectures and then 2018 for the latest ones with more to follow. November's RADCOM, which should be with most members by now, leads with an article about VDSL2 radiation and EMC analysis software tools supported by the RSGB Legacy Fund, Sir Martin, Dr. Martin Sack. G8KDF has developed EMC analysis software tools for the RSGB EMC committee to use when supporting members. The software, Lelantos, has been developed to identify and measure the relative strengths and spectrum of VDSL2, RFI and desired signals. The development of this software reflects the RSGB's commitment to maintaining and enhancing radio amateurs' ability to use the radio spectrum, as outlined in our Strategy 2022. That is Strategy 2022. The EMC committee will now experiment with Lelantos, which is effectively still in its infancy, in order to refine it and revise, realise its full potential. The committee will then consider how the software may best be deployed in the wider community. This year, the RSGB has secured the call sign GB18 Yota for the December Yota Month event. Clubs, groups, and individuals from all over the country are invited to set up stations and host the call sign over the 31 day period of December. Please see rsgb.org forward slash Yota hyphen month for further information and application details. For any questions, email yota.month at rsgb.org.uk. The deadline for applications is Monday the 29th of October. The UK 6 Metre Group is holding its 2018 AGM today, the 21st at 4pm. The meeting is held by web conference and all members are invited to take part. You can join the meeting from your computer, tablet or smartphone by going to https 2.2/global.gotomeeting.com forward slash join forward slash figures 956522885. Owing to security concerns, the 4V7RD expedition to Haiti that was to take place between the 19th and 29th of October has been cancelled. The ARRL contest branch has announced that participants in the 2019 ARRL Ritty Roundup will be permitted to use the new FT8 protocol, which is part of the WSJTX software suite. Read the full ARRL story at arrl.org forward slash news. Now for details of rallies and events in the coming week. Today, the 21st, the Gala Shields Radio Rally takes place at Volunteer Hall, St John Street, Gala Shields, TD13 at JX. Doors opening at 11.15. Disabled visitors at 11. There'll be traders bring and buy refreshments available on site. £2.50 to get in. British Railways ARS is holding its AGM at Brunswick Inn in Derby on Tuesday. On Tuesday, Bras members, that's B R A R S members, are invited from 11 a.m. for an informal meeting, greet and chat. The formal AGM starts at 1:15. For details, go to www.brars.info and follow the links. The Essex CWARCCW boot camp will be held next Saturday, the 27th. At the, 20, at the 3rd Witham Scout and Guide HQ Rear of Spring Lodge Community Centre, Powers Hall End Witham in Essex, CM 82HE. Doors open at 8.30 for registration. The event runs from 9am to 4.30. Parking is free, £10 to get in, free sausage rolls, drinks and cakes. Contact Andy G0IBN 07453426087 or email g0ibnfigure1 at yahoo.com.
To get your event into Radcom on the RSGB uh, and GB2RS, please send details as early as possible to radcom at rsgb.org.uk and three months' notice required to get your information into Radcom. Now the DX News from 425DX News and other sources, Bertrand G- D- DF3FS will operate CW and SSB as TU5MH from Côte d'Ivoire from the 20th to the 29th of October, QSL, Club Log. At Club Logs OQRS, Logbook of the World, or via DF3FS. Ed N2HX will be active as PJ7PL from St. Martin, o- IOTA reference NA105 from the 20th of October to the 4th of November, including an entry into the CQ Worldwide DXSSB contest. Before and after the context, contest, he'll operate SSB Ritty and possibly FT8 QSL N2HX. The Slovenian team will be active as XT2SZZ from Bobo Diulaso and Birkin Faso from the 22nd to the 30th of October. Activity beyond various HF bands and 6 metres, they'll be participating in the CQ Worldwide SSB contest QSL S59ZZ. Steve WB2IQU will be active as 5 Whiskey 2 iq from Apia in Samoa, OCO97, until the 25th of October. He'll be on 40, 20, 15 and 10 QSL home call. Don K6ZO will be active as 9 Quebec 6 Mike from Malawi, 23rd to the 29th of October, including participation in the CQ Worldwide DXSSB contest QSL via K6ZO. Thierry F6CUK will be active holiday style as Fox Japan stroke call sign from Saint Barthélemy, which is NA146 from the 21st of October to the 1st of November. He'll operate CWSSB and vari- on various bands, QSL via Club Logs, OQRS, Logbook of the World, EQSL or via his home or uh, call either direct or bureau. Now special event news, look for large numbers of special event stations on the air this weekend for Jamboree on the Air. An annual event which which half a million scouts and guides all over the world make contact with each other by means of amateur radio. They're very happy to publicise your event. In general, this is on GB2RS Radcom or the RSGB website. Send details to radcom at rsgb.org as early as possible. One condition for getting a special event call sign is the station must be open to the public. Now for contest news, the Worked All Germany contest runs for the 24 hours ending 1500 UTC today the 21st. Using CW and SSB 3.5 to 28 megs bands, the exchanger signal report and serial number German station sending DOK. Today the 21st, the 50 megs AFS takes place 0900 to 1300 UTC using all modes, the exchanger signal report, serial number and locator. And I'll refer to that combination as the usual signal, the usual exchange, unless it's different for the following entries as well. UK Microwaves Group 24 to 20 to 76 gigs runs from 0900 to 1700 UTC today. Um, it's the usual exchange plus locator. The RSGB second Rolo contest runs from 1900 to 2030 UTC today. Using CW only 3.5 megs band, usual exchange and the rolling indicator. On Tuesday, the SJF UK Activity Contest runs from 18.30 to 21.30 using all modes 2.3 to 10 gigs bands. The exchange is the normal one signal report, serial number and locator. On Thursday, the 80 metre autumn series takes place between 1900 and 2030 UTC using SSB only. Exchange signal report and serial number. Next weekend it's the big CQ Worldwide DXSSB contest running from 0000 UTC on the 27th to 23.59 UTC on the 28th using 1.8 to 28 megs contest bands, the exchange signal report and your zone, which for us in the UK is 14. Now radio propagation report com- compiled by G0KYA, G3YLA and G4BAO. The sun remained pretty well spotless in the latter half of the week with a solar flux index of 70 at the time this report was being prepared, but after an email from an R- a GB2RS listener, it's probably a good idea to recap how sun- sunspot numbers are calculated. We count each sunspot as one, but each group as ten, so a single sunspot is what is obviously one group.
which is obviously one group is 11 and 2 in two different groups becomes 22. So while the leap from 0 to 11 may sound like a big jump, it means that only a single solitary and probably tiny sunspot has appeared. This is precisely what happened earlier in the week, although the spot probably had little real effect on HF propagation. The best guide is the smoothed average sunspot number, which is what prediction programs like VOACAP use. Geomagnetic conditions were more settled on Tuesday and Wednesday after last weekend, but we did have a planetary K index of 5 on the 13th thanks to our old friend a solar coronal hole. This may have generated a pre-auroral positive phase on Saturday when the HF station at the RSGB convention managed to work the USA and South America, although a beam did help. This week NOAA predicts the solar flux will remain about 70 and geomagnetic conditions will be reasonably settled with a maximum KP index of 3. Fingers crossed that better HF conditions continue for the next weekend CQ Worldwide DXSSB contest. Now for VHF and up, the coming week will be dominated by high pressure and indeed looks like in control of being in control for most of the country. This is a typical pattern for autumn, with misty nights and early morning fog indicating a sharp temperature inversion. This can occur at the Earth's surface and is often joined by a second inversion at a height of 1 to 3 kilometres. These temperature inversions set up sharp changes in the refractive index of the air over short vertical distances that can transform important ducts for the propagation of VHF, UHF and microwave. These effects often last for extended periods and cover long distances, similar in scale to the dimensions of the high-pressure system itself. So don't just sit on the repeaters and complain about co-channel interference. Get onto the simplex channels or down to into a CW, SSB or data mode segment and spread out a bit. You'll be amazed what these modes can bring you with only a modest directional antenna. The moon's declination rises all this week, going positive on Tuesday, so combined with falling path losses, it's time to start looking for EME contacts again. Meteor showers to look for this week are the Orionids, peaking today, plus the smaller Leonis Minorids on Wednesday. That's it from the propagation team for this week. That's all from me also. Until next week. Radio Controle Dienst. Dit is PA0 ETE. Daily Minutes zijn dagelijks vanaf ongeveer 1900 uur te beluisteren. De uitzending wordt een dag later om half elf ochtends herhaald. Alle mail is welkom op het adres x xdvme Dat is ook te vinden rechts boven aan de webpagina van de uitzending in www.pa0ete.nl. De Daily Minutes toont iedere dag weer aan de hand van schokkende voorbeelden hoe een hobby mensenlevens kan veranderen. De internetfaciliteiten en studio hardware voor Daily Minutes worden gesponsord door 70 megahertzshopnl 70 mhzshopnl Ga jij nog naar het tuincentrum komend weekend? Ja, ik wil daar het komend weekend nog naartoe. Zou je voor mij dan een zakje randaarde willen meenemen? Tuurlijk. En microfoon naar retour.